Hi, I'm Heather Ostrom. And I'm Steve Ostrom. And today we're going to talk about the 2015 market. It sounds so futuristic. It does. 2015. I can't believe we're here. I'm so excited. We're here. <laughs> no space cars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, 2014 was our most rewarding year ever. I think 2015 is going to be just as rewarding. Yeah, I just feel like we're starting about the about in a similar way, yeah. you know, and yeah. I feel like uh, things are going well. Interest rates are still great right now. Spectacular. Yeah. Incredible. So what do you think, what do you think is going to be happening this year? What do you see and who should be listing right now and who should be listing in the spring market? Well, I'll tell you right now it's slow. Yeah. I went out and showed properties yesterday. I showed 20 properties and half of them were priced well. 20 properties. Yeah. Well, that's what when people coming out of the area want to see a lot of properties. Yeah. So yeah. You see a bunch yeah. in one day. Um, but half of them were priced well. And some yeah. of them I left saying, I, I, I'm dumbfounded that place hasn't sold yet. Yeah. I was also in that 500 to 700 where there is a lot in that price range yeah. right now. Um, and that type of market. And then how long moving. How long do you usually typically do you see the them on market? And what where are they at right now? Well, our average time on like our personal coal banker, like our Roseville and Rock.com team, we were 30 days on market was our average okay. time. And the ones I showed yesterday were over 30 days, most of wow. them. Only one was under 30 days on the market. But it's we're coming off the Christmas time. Yeah, you're right. People don't list. So it's, it's a different time of yeah. year right now. But what happened last year is once we hit daylight savings, once we hit spring, yeah. things took off. Yeah. And I I predict the same exact thing right now. And last year we got lucky. We Not lucky or skillful, but we guessed right. For, for the people that had to move to a different market, yeah. there were a hotter market, we told them to get on early. And they got on early and they made their offers on contingent in the Bay Area, got their things accepted. And then we, the ones we had that were moving to a smaller home, yeah. we told them to wait till spring and we actually got those done too, where we That's put it awesome. in the listing, got it done fast, and then yep. put them into another home. You did really. You did time everything right last year. That was awesome. That's why it was such a good year. Woo! That's all 2015's just. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it really did. We yeah. had half our homes were contingent sales where we had to do sell one to get the yeah. other. Yeah. Where timing and was important. Very, very important. Yeah. And it's always important when you're selling one to go buy the other home. Yeah. Its timing is so important, and also knowing what's out there, where you're gonna go. Is yeah. So and communication. Important. I mean, the yeah. thing is, you were asking, what's your objective? When do you need to sell by? Mm -hmm. It helps to know all these variables. Do you have to sell your home? Are you moving out of the area? All those little things. So it helps to know exactly what your situation is. Because I don't think there's any cookie cutter solution for any there seller. There is not a yeah. cookie cutter solution. And one thing too that we did last <coughs> year, we'll do to continue, yeah. is show them what's out there where they want to go. Yeah. Because if what you think is out there is not out there, don't list your home. Yeah. You know, and we're totally non-pressure people. We yeah. want you to be in the right situation. I think that's why we've had such a good luck yeah. over the years is that we've just been there for people to, for more of service you know we yeah, help you get to where you want to so. go and, and that's how it is we're not pushy at so all so like the ideal person that should be listing right now is someone that it doesn't want a lot of competition for buying is somebody that's moving up okay if you're moving up because it's 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 not as competitive in that other <coughs> price range whereas if you're in your first home where you bought it for three or yeah. three hundred thousand now those ones could still go pretty fast because yeah. there's investors, there's first time home buyers. Yeah. Whereas you go to that five hundred, seven hundred thousand dollar range, there's not as much competition. Interesting. You can make offers lower. You can make your offers contingent. You can negotiate terms. Yeah. Even with new home builders now in that prior range, you can negotiate terms on that. Yeah. They're dealing whereas last year in spring they weren't dealing. Yeah. And people come out of the woodworks in yeah. springtime. It's true. Because right. we're so driven by our schools yeah. that a lot of people don't want to relocate when their schools are That's true. make it right. So yeah. We are really, once spring comes, we take off. <laughs> yeah, we have, we already have, I'd say about five listings lined up for springtime. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's going to be another great yeah. year. So if you're like thinking about listing now or you th want to just find out if maybe you're the right candidate for listing now or mm -hmm. in the springtime, give us a call and we will help you find out the right solution for you. Yeah, each... Each situation is different. Yeah, so we definitely. Have to talk yep. to that person, and we're always there for you. Give us a call anytime. My number is 916 308 2446. And you can visit our website at roseville.rockland.com, and we are happy to help you at any time. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you in 2015. Woo!